YouTube, Electric Adventures here with my monthly update for April 2014. Um, now, it was my birthday in April, so um, some of these pickups are my birthday presents from my family. Um, I'll start with my... You know, I've managed to get them all out of order. Uh, my lovely big sister actually sent me uh, Gravity on Blu-ray, the non-3D edition. We don't have a 3D TV or 3D glasses, so didn't get to see that in the pictures. Um, looking forward to um, seeing what that's like. I mean, I like space movies. Um, I, it, you know, I should enjoy it. And uh, a really good thing that she got me was a David Bowie album I'm missing, and it's Aladdin Sane. Um, and quite a few of the songs on this one are not on some of the other collections that have come out. Um, and there's some quite good tunes on this one. I've, um, I've, um, I've sucked it into my iTunes and um, that's pretty much what I do. I like getting a physical disc, sucked into iTunes and then listen to it on there on all my devices. Um, so actually really happy about getting that one. So good on my big sis. Um, from my family, so my wife and the four girls, um, now some of these are, are very tainted with stuff they want to play as well but they got me The Hobbit Lego for the PS3 uh, which my second oldest daughter has already got uh, I think about halfway through the game before I even started playing it and I've started playing it with my wife uh, which is really good I haven't actually played a game uh, together for quite some time and we're both enjoying that although my wife has actually had to um, help out uh, my littlest who started playing it as well she wanted somebody to play with and I believe they've gotten past where myself and my wife have gotten up to so be interesting I may have to play it s solo to catch up to them um, but it's actually a really good game um, um, you know I actually uh, I enjoy the Lego games they're lots of good fun I haven't actually had the time to play a lot of the recent ones uh, second daughter has played them a fair bit and so has most of the other daughters it's about, about the only one who doesn't play them is my eldest daughter. She's into different sorts of games. So, But anyway, highly recommended, especially if you like the Lego games. Um, but even if you haven't tried one before, it's one of the better ones. Um, now there's the um, Lego movie game as well. Um, we're actually going to get that for my littlest birthday, which is next week. Uh, so that'll be in the family as well. Um, also... Um, they got me a couple of more Blu-rays. So, and this is once again missed this in the cinemas. Thor: The Dark World. Uh, we watched that earlier in the week and really enjoyed it. And it's the the steel edition. So it's got this little slip thing over it. Gives you all the details, and then inside, it's a steel case, which is quite nice. Sorry about that. Phone rang. Um, as usual with me, get interrupted all the time. That's why I have trouble making videos sometimes. Um, and so, yeah, so while we're doing a look at the videos, now there's another movie. Um, I believe I have downloaded and watched this game, but I like the series, so I wanted a copy on Blu-ray and it was cheap. Um, actually, because of everything going on, they actually took me to JB Hi-Fi and got me to pick out a couple of Blu-rays. That's where those Blu-rays came from. Uh, right, from my um well from my other sister i have two she got me a jb hi-fi voucher which i haven't had a chance to go and spend uh, from my sister-in-law and we don't normally buy presents but she saw this t-shirt and said um tony has to have that so that's a star wars t-shirt i haven't seen before that looks quite cool i am not wearing it today because it is damn cold right and next once again family buying presents that they all want we spotted this while we're out, so The Walking Dead Monopoly. Um, and we've played it, uh, I mean, exactly the same rules as normal, just different pieces and things like that, but it's actually quite cool. Sorry, do this about tipping all the pieces out. I mean, I'm a fan of The Walking Dead series. Um, I do have some of the comics, um, but they're not that available down here. Um, I started getting them in the softbacks. Um, but then found the um, the hardback trade papers and I like them a lot more but hardly anybody sells them down here and even the softback trade papers I discovered when I went to Melbourne last that were being charged <laughs> a premium so I've just got to get around to ordering them off somebody online 
and giving up on that. So that's all my, I mean I've got a JB Hi-Fi voucher as well so at some stage I'll go and get something. I was thinking of getting um, uh, Mario 3D World for the Wii U because I really want to play that game. So that's probably what I'll end up getting with that voucher. Um, now there probably wouldn't have been any other pickups but my uh, cousin rang me only just the other day and said that um, a particular EB um, game store um, had marked all of their PSP titles uh, down to five dollars. Um, so I went in and got a few. Now I've grabbed a whole heap here. Uh, some of these will not be particularly for me, if you know what I mean. I mean I'll have a look at some of them and the ones that I'm interested in because I'm not going for a full PSP collection or anything silly like that. I'm only after. I mean I like the system and because um, it's a handheld I can usually get a bit more time to play around with them um, so there'll be games here that I'll keep and like and there'll be other games that won't my, my cup of tea but I thought I'd grab them and they make good trades of other people so if you see anything here that you're particularly interested in I'm not overly attached to any of them and I'll happily trade them for something else that I'm probably more into so these are in no particular order they're completely random and there are a few um, I'll I'm not going to rip them all open and show them, but I'll tell you when they don't have a manual. But anyway, we have Avatar the Game, uh, Naruto Shippen Kizana Drive 1. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? That one actually looks quite interesting. So we'll see whether that one's any good. Um, now this one case is a little bit scratched up, but it's all right. Coded Arms Contagion from Konami. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Actually looking forward to playing that one. Um, I haven't actually grown around a Star Wars fan, so you probably won't be able to trade this one away from me, but Star Wars Force Unleashed. I've always wanted this one. Unfortunately, they didn't have any copies of the other one. I would have liked that one as well. Um, Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron and once again I would have liked the other one of those but they didn't have one uh, Ace Combat X that's actually supposed to be quite good uh, Ghost Recon Predator Tom Clancy's Splinter, Splinter Cell Essentials now it's going to take me a long time to actually have a look and have a go at these, but um, I'd have to take the opportunity. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Now it is a platinum. I don't normally grab platinum, but they were cheap. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. I already have the other one, so that just completes those. There's a bit of a collection. Uh, Invisibles. The hunt starts here, and it has the little... Um, frame thing that comes with it, so it is completely complete. Not sure that's particularly my cup of tea. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, well, I actually am looking forward to playing this one. It's uh, a bike game. I take it that's S3K07 Superbike World Championships. I like racing games. Once again, Platinum, but I wanted to try this one. It's Daxter. And that's supposed to be quite a good game. Uh, another game, Metal Jesus Rocks mentioned this one. I didn't actually know it was available on the PSP, and they had a copy. Missed. It is missing its manual, though. Um, quite a lot of these are, um, you know, traded in games. Uh, so some of them may need uh, replacement out of shells for the disc but I have a pile of those back there and you can get them for like 50 cents each if you order enough of them uh, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny pretty good condition bar a bit of a sticker build up up there that looks pretty good uh, no this one might be alright so, uh, I actually caught, got into these games on the Neo Geo Samurai Showdown Anthology I can't remember which games are on the SNK uh, Classics disc, but I'm not sure you get all of those. Don't know anything about this game. Tenju Tenjigo Shadow Assassins. 
There's actually some quite good titles. And we have another SOCOM. SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fireteam Bravo. Now the PSP doesn't have dual, you know, dual um, sticks, so it does make shoot em up. Um, first person shooters a little difficult sometimes. Now this is a bit of a uh, funny looking one. Chili Con Carnage. Never seen that one before. Uh, now this is supposed to be like God of War, Dainty's Inferno. I quite like the um, God of War series, so... Oops, it is going to take me a while to play all of these. Uh, Pursuit Force. Some sort of racing thing. I'm not sure what that one will be like. Uh, My Tran Wars. Maybe a bit of a strategy game, but it'd be good if it was. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. I'm not sure if there's one or two Prince of Persia games on the PSP. Uh, another SOCOM game. Uh, SOCOM US Navy SEALs Tactical Strike. And last but not least, um, I've never haven't played this game on the PS3 or anything, so Tron Evolution, and I'm a big Tron fan, so that one will definitely be staying. So that's a rather large stack of games. Um, don't normally buy that many games at once. Um, and actually, I'm forgetting some things now. I'm very sad. Um, also, for my birthday, my wife bought me Killzone Mercenaries for the Vita. <laughs> Um, and at the same time as I got these PSP games, uh, these were two for 30. I got Batman 2. I do have it on the PS3, but I've never had a chance to play it. I might get a chance to play it. And Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, which is supposed to be alright. Um, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game for a while and still haven't picked up. I mean, I don't actually own any Assassin's Creed games. Oh, I have played the first one because my brother-in-law lent me um, his copy when I first got my PS3. So, a mound of other pickups there. That's not normally what I do. Uh, I know, I normally talk about all sorts of other things. Um, now, there is one other thing that came in the mail. And that's the Star Trek Starships Collection Series. So, it's finally available here in Australia. So, we have the... Enterprise from Next Generation, the Enterprise from Original Star Trek, and a Klingon Bird of Prey. The Observant may be able to see them up on the shelf there. There's a fair bit up behind me, there's a fair bit of light up there, so I mightn't show up. But the models are, are quite nice. I'll show you one of those for those that haven't seen them. There part metal, part plastic. So this is the first one. Just got to be careful because so they've got a fair bit of detail on them. It's probably not going to come up on this camera that won't focus properly. But they're quite nice. So I'll collect those for a while. I'm not sure I'll get the whole thing, but um, we'll see. They look nice. Retro Gamer VX is the one that um, got into those originally and I've been watching his videos and said, oh, yeah, you can't get those in Australia, it'd be nice if they did. And um, I put my um, email address down to be notified and they notified me and they're available in Australia. Plus also before then, I actually, my um, my family actually saw them on TV and said, dad, you should get those. So um, I did <laughs> and very pleased to. So um, anyway, general update. Uh, otherwise, I have a lot of projects that I haven't been, had a chance to do. I just don't seem to have the time. I've got um, parts to make up arcade Coleco controllers. Um, I also have ordered um, and received most of the components. So these are uh, MSX 2 Plus video chips. The V9958 uh, chip, video chips. And I have RAM chips sitting over there. Um, and um, I've got plenty of ROMs to upgrade my Spect Video Express machines. I have two, so I'm going to experiment on one first. 
Uh, first, just by upgrading the RAM and changing the ROMs, you can change them from an MSX1 to an MSX2, because they've already got the MSX2 video chip in them. Um, and then, uh, we've uh, cut a little, you know, lift this pin, uh, put this wire from here to there, and putting in the um, replacing the VDP with the MSX2 Plus VDP, you can turn them into an MSX2 Plus, which I didn't realise. Uh, the parts were very cheap. There seems to be the most expensive things were the um, MSX2 Plus VDPs. The rest of the RAM chips were like, they are only like, um, I think it cost $12 for two full sets of the RAM chips, which is nothing. And that was delivered from China. Um, I ordered some sockets as well, um, just to, if you're going to be unsoldering things, I might as well put sockets in. Um, so I'm going to be making a video on that. Uh, not that I've made a video on the last retro computer that I have. Um, I haven't done a video, but I've got another one uh, that I'm hopefully collecting tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow my time when I'm recording this might have actually happened. Um, so uh, that'll flesh it out. So you can expect this month um, at least two videos on two new retro computers. I'll try to go into a bit of detail on those and a bit of a programming session and. Um, a bit of the history as much as I know. Um, I'm not... Um, the first machine is one of the very first machines that I used back in school and the other one, I, other than maybe using one in a store, I've never used one myself, so I need to do a bit of research. Um, I have um, now Homebrew uh, once again stalled for a little while because I really haven't had the time, been very busy at work, have not had the spare time because I had troubles with my laptop. I've got a new laptop now um, the reason why I need a laptop is that the only time I seem to get to do this is, you know, sitting on the couch uh, in front of the TV with the rest of the family. So since I've got that new laptop and it's a great little laptop, I've managed to make some more progress. Um, and I've rewritten my Pixidus game, which is my best-selling um, game from back in the day. Um, so it originally was an MSX, an original Spectre video game. Um, and if I wanted to run on the Coleco, I needed the Super Game module before with the extra RAM, but I've actually rewritten most of the um, scrolling routines and, um, and the screen display parts, so it'll now run on an original Coleco. Um, all I've really got to do is just, it's just a little bit more playtesting and bug bugs. I've sent a very early beta off to one person to test. Um, I need to add some more sound, and I'm going to add a high score table. Um, uh, I'll probably do that in the next couple of days and send that off and then I'll be focusing on another game which is a, um, a single screen puzzle uh, game that's got like a hundred levels uh, I've made a fair bit of progress on that one um, but I'm not going to show that one until it's completely finished because I'm actually making that for somebody else um, and they'll all be uh, and then I'll move on to my finally uh, finishing off my cavern fighter game so all of those will come out on Coleco. Um, there's also another chap who is publishing a multi-cart for the MSX. Unfortunately, they've only taken a limited number of pre-orders and they're not doing any more. Um, so I'll put a link down below so you can go and have a look at it. But um, all you can do is register your interest and they might do a second run later. But at the moment, I don't think they're intending to. But the main reason I mention that is they have... Um, uh, actual PCBs and everything like that for making MSX cartridges and I've wanted to release my games again on uh, cartridges, especially my machine code titles um, but my um, skills at making PCBs I mean I could probably do it if I could spend more time on it um, I mean I had a go at the original Spectre Video PCB but haven't been able to get it to work yet but simply I have not had the time to spend to work on it so it's really restricting so you know, you get to a certain stage where you, you just want to concentrate on what you know um, how to do best. Um, so I'm making inquiries with them to see whether they can, um, you know, point me in the right direction to get some cartridge PCBs. I've already got cases, and even if my cases are no good, doesn't matter. I'll just um, order new ones to finally get my titles out on the MSX again. So um, it just gets that thing out of the way. That's the heart. I'm sure everybody, a lot of people, find, you know, have this trouble of finding time to do everything they want to do. Um, now I have um, a couple more packages from Japan on the way, so there will be some more pickups from Japan. 
Um, I will be slowing down on those though because I really do want to concentrate on these other projects that are banking up. Um, so new pickups will primarily be from stuff I find in the wild. Um, I actually am finding that I'm having some of my weekends free with no kids now so I may try and go to some of our markets. Um, and plus we've got an awful mess in here so I may actually go to the market myself just to get rid of some of these old kids toys and stuff like that just so we can clear out a bit of this room and whilst there I might be able to go around and you never know what I might find. I'm still waiting for the local sellers to realise that they're not moving any of their PS2 games and to stop trying to sell them for $10, $15 which is ridiculous. Um, I did go into a cash converter store today just to have a look, didn't buy anything but it's good to see they actually had a bin with all of the PS2 sports games and they've got them at two dollars so they've got you know the general idea that um, these they're just building up and they're not selling um, and they actually had some PSP games but since I just bought all this lot I wasn't going to get any more and the prices on those aren't too bad they're about ten dollars so um, but um, I mean I'm not going to need any PSP games for a while so that's going to do me for quite some time um, and um, yeah I actually don't like too much of a glut on a system uh, also for some of the others I mean I've built up quite a nice N64 Japanese collection now and I've got quite a good uh, lot of Famicom games some of the ones that are coming in are for both of those systems to tidy it off but I'll slow down on those for a little while um, and obviously my primary focus is MSX and slowly building up my Coleco collection and you know the occasional on television one where I find it. Um, also, yes, I have finally found another um, Sega Master System cartridge and it's quite uh, supposed to be quite a good game. That should arrive in the next week, so there'll be a video on that. So lots of stuff will be happening. Um, and... Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed my uh, ramble today and uh, these pickups. Uh, it was a good month and I look forward to a good May. And um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers and I'll catch you later.